We are back better than ever. We got a new card in there, so I don't even have to format the old one. How fantastic is that? Okay, so in the few brief minutes uh, that has transpired in between getting that card in and getting the other one out, I have also managed to reattach this as shown here. You can see that there are two flathead screws sitting here at the orientation of the shutter speed selecting gear. So I'm going to wait for my neighbors to chill. Okay. Uh, three screws there, as I previously mentioned, all of that as such. You'll also notice that there's just a foray of wires that are sitting out. We'll talk about that really briefly here. Front, we have the contacts for the flash sync speed, or the flash point contacts in the front. This white wire is going to connect there to. You good? Red, red, gray. Gray goes all the way up to the top to the hot shoe contact right there. Um, these black and yellow ones will connect to the front plate when I reattach that. And I still need to reconnect the battery compartment here and then run the black wire all the way up through around here. These get connected there, but I kind of wanted to put the mechanical things back on the camera first, make sure it was all working before I started futzing about with the power because if I need to start reconnecting power things or like if I need to start redoing mechanical things, it's just a little bit easier to not have to detach all of the power stuff again, again. So we'll do that real briefly. Um, this is, I don't really remember the exact order in which all of this needs to sit, so bear with me. If memory serves, this goes on underneath that, I'm 90% sure. I think, yeah, I think I can do that. While I'm here, so I noticed a couple of things. Um, one, this whole area is disgusting. Like it is just grime city. So I'm hoping that I've been like, um, adding a bunch of alcohol down here over time to hopefully clean it out. And I honestly suspect that this was the source of the issue was just that these gears were like super duper corroded. Um, but I hope that's not the case cause I don't really want to have to I don't know, I'd feel really dumb if that was the issue. If I spent all this effort on the top of the camera and it was actually just like the bottom that needed to be cleaned out. That looks relatively clean, so I'm gonna reattach. I'm gonna actually swap it off real quick because I did dump a bunch of alcohol in there. And don't worry, if you're watching this, you're like, oh, you're just putting a bunch of solvent on it. Um, I will be adding a drop of gun oil after the fact to make sure that things move relatively smoothly as they should, but less is definitely more when it comes to oil. I'm gonna also be blasting this with air after I'm done cleaning stuff. That will hopefully help the solvent dry up a little quicker and less of an issue to worry about. I'm really curious because this was the piece that looked the worst, but I didn't remove any of this because I was worried that would happen. Literally no clue where that went. Awesome, I will have to find that later. Yeah, so you can kind of see down in there just how grimy that is. Let me grab a fresh Q-tip for an even better yeah, I mean, that's just one light swabbing and it's like green. So pretty gnarly, not gonna lie. Might be able to lift it out of there and that would help. So yeah, I suspect that was probably the cause of some of the issues it was just the, the sheer amount of corrosion there. Now. I hope that's, I hope that's okay. I 
Okay, so now while we have that disconnected, that's awesome. While that is disconnected, you'll notice that this will move freely and that's because uh, that's basically the connecting gear from the advanced lever to the take up spool here. And so, what the fucking hell is going on there? Okay, that's, oh, that's goofy, okay. Oh, that's, oh, that's disgusting. Oh man, we are just, oh, oh yeah, that is foul. Okay, oh no, okay. This is gonna take, this is gonna take some work. This is gonna take some Jesus is what it's gonna take. So what I normally do when a piece is as bad as this, is I'll just do like a little dunk in some vinegar. I usually use like a three to one vinegar to water solution. And that just kind of, hopefully, I guess, prevents future growths to take place. But I guess we'll see. Uh, vinegar is great for mold, if you have any mold on your curtains, which is pretty common, especially on the older cameras. If you'll get them from like some retirement village in Florida, lots of mold on those, or from Japan sometimes if they've not been cared for properly. If you ever try to get like a bargain bin uh, Japanese camera, there's probably gonna be some mold there, some fungus growth. Um, so yeah, vinegar is kind of the solution for all of that business. Pretty tight squeeze down here with the gear, so I'm just going to be placing that relatively gently. And it actually moves, which is which is a good sign. So cool beans. Pop that back up. Hello, friend. How art thou? All right. Actually, this is going to be beneficial because I will use this as a reference for reconnecting this one. So. I know the gist of it, I just have not really spent much time uh, disassembling these systems. So bear with me while I bullshit my way through it. If memory serves. This arm. Kind of a precarious thing. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna do this, and I will do. Oh, this is real fucky, isn't it? Oh no. Okay, we're gonna see if we can do this. I don't think I can. Okay, interesting. So I might have to. Okay, so it advances. Um, what I had to do there, which I think I just fucked myself up on, to be honest, is I had to advance it a little bit so that way I could maneuver. Actually, no, that works. That works beautifully. Maybe. 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 Okay. Okay, that works. That was the shutter just firing. 
So now we can advance a little bit more. And I'll explain all of this momentarily. What I'm trying to do is get this post back there to a position where I could sit it this on in between those like two prongs, get this to sit down on that post there, which it has, and then also have it sit behind the mirror control lever that would be putting it up to charge it basically. Okay, there we go. So now the shutter is charged. The mirror, however, is not charged, and that, beca that is because this post here is not holding it in place properly, is my guess. Okay, and then this sits on top like that, that over there, and then this would go there but first what goes on that's right this goes over here that's what it is that one goes there and then this goes on top like so obviously where did that just go <laughs> what the hell oh there it is oh my god where's Waldo champion 2023. Okay. Okay. So that connects just like so. And then from there, now this sits on top. This goes into the little eyelet on the mirror charging lever. I think what I'll do first is connect it down to here. Very special looking flathead screw. can get it in the right place, you son of a bitch. This should not take this long. <laughs> I'm just making this so much more difficult than it needs to be. And then this does not get skewered into your thumb just like I did. It actually goes into that post like such. And there we go. So this is how that's supposed to go. It's obviously I'm missing this part here. I'm gonna do that in a moment, but I'm gonna have to charge my camera first and then I'll finish with this. Catch you in a bit.